Hi and welcome to pmplounge.com. Today in our last leg of discussing the collect requirements, tools and techniques, we will be talking about questionnaires, observation and prototypes. Again, these are tools and techniques of uh, collect requirements. There are many other tools and techniques of collect requirements which we have uh, covered earlier as well. But this just gives you an idea of how important the process of collect requirements really is, not just from exam perspective but from a real life perspective as well because collect requirements the entire project if you think for a second right the entire project the end product of the project depends on how good the process of collect requirements was if the project team was able to come up with the you know uh, with requirements which are absolutely clear with requirements which are which meet the the needs of the customers uh, the stakeholders and the project team is able to create a product based on those requirements that project is definitely going to be one of the most successful projects in your organization because most of the times it's the requirements that a kind of goes wrong uh, the collect requirements process is the the culprit when it comes to uh, projects that fail and we have seen that in many of the reports that we have covered uh, many of the pmi reports that we have covered over here at pmplounge.com feel free to check out uh, those reports in the playlist go there check out some of the pmi reports and there is a lot of insights and a lot of insightful data already available on this YouTube channel. All right, let's get started with questionnaire observation prototype. But before that, let's take a quick look at what all tools and techniques we have already discussed over here at pmplounge.com. So the tools and techniques that we have already discussed are interviews, facilitated workshops, focus groups. Then there was group decision making technique which involves unanimity, majority, plurality, dictatorship. Uh, the videos for all of these, by the way, are available uh, in on this channel. I will share a link, a direct link to uh, all these, uh, a playlist which contains all these videos, basically. And then again, we did a mini series on group creativity techniques, wherein we covered all of these, the idea or mind maps, Delphi technique, affinity diagrams, nominal group technique, context diagrams, brainstorming, benchmarking, document analysis. So a link to the playlist of um, this uh, mini series that we did on that we have already done on group creativity techniques will also be available in the description below. Again, collect requirements is part of scope management knowledge area. Every video that we have ever done on scope management the entire playlist of scope management will also be available in the description. All right, let's get started with the first point on the agenda today. And that is questionnaires. So questionnaires are most helpful when each stakeholder and even the customers can be reached in person. So if you have a product that is being used by tens of thousands of people how are you supposed how are you supposed to to kind of go knock everyone's door and collect requirements that's not possible right and that is where questionnaires come into the picture right a questionnaire can simply be circulated online and you can seek feedback and that way you can collect requirements of course the requirements that you're collecting here could be from from the from the perspective of the previous product which is already available in the market right so for the next version of the same product questionnaire is definitely a very very useful uh, tool again if you are launching your product in the market for the first time again that could be something uh, where questionnaires can be made use of let's say you are a uh, you are uh, let's say a mobile making company right a, a new mobile making company you can definitely circulate a questionnaire online and seek what people expect out of their mobile phones right so even though you don't have your own mobile in the market right now but what existing customers of different mobile phones expect from their phones that can be gathered 
through a questionnaire right again when you launch your mobile phone your first mobile phone in the market for your next mobile phone your next iteration right your next product you can definitely ask what went wrong with your first one or any other features that uh, the existing customers would like to see in your next mobile phone and a company that has done that uh, recently and have made use of social media and all is uh, oneplus that comes to my mind they have uh, done something like this with their oneplus community all right the next point here is observation so what is observation now of course a feedback from the questionnaire is definitely very crucial but it might not always correctly represent what the user actually needs and i say that because not every user not every stakeholder not every customer can put his or her requirements or his or her feedback in words which your company your project team can understand that is always possible right so that is why that is where observation steps in and you all you do is you observe users while they are using the product right that is definitely going to be much more insightful so uh, you you typically ask user you can actually host uh, an event where you call up all your users you give them the infrastructure you give them the environment you ask users to make use of your product right and by observing them you can definitely collect a lot of requirements either for your current product in which case uh, the uh, the product which is being tested by the users will definitely be a beta program if you see um, if you see all these uh, uh, mobile world congress and events like that right there are a lot of products available in in these events are displayed in these events which are not production units they are uh, you know which are not final uh, units they are simply production units and it's mostly a beta unit and uh, what the companies want from their customer is to come in make use of the product so that they can observe what they need to do to you know come up with a better version of their product so that is where observation comes into the picture and again it is something uh, where you don't really need uh, users to give you feedback in writing right all you do is just observe the way they are using your product and finally comes in prototype again it's similar to what we discussed in observation because a prototype is basically a model of the product that should give the stakeholders a good idea of what to expect now apart from the uh, the example that we just discussed of mobile phones if you have ever worked on any web based project if you have ever created a website for any of your customer you would know what i'm talking about because typically we create a template and we give that template to the customer so that the customer can look at the the design and the look and feel of the website once the customer is good we proceed and kind of integrate let's say payment gateways or enable the databases and what what whatever other features that we need to add to the website but a prototype is basically a model it can be a partially working model or a non working model as well but that gives stakeholders a really good idea of what they can expect now there are points there are situations when users look at the prototypes and they come up with requirements which no one could have thought of in the beginning right requirements which were not present in your requirements document right requirements which were actually uh, ignored by everyone in the beginning and a user while using the prototype might realize that there are certain requirements that have been missed and that is when a user can report back certain requirements and again that's very important from collect requirements perspective because this helps in avoiding change requests which would which would eventually come in later if these kind of requirements are not met so prototype is again a very helpful a very useful model that is used uh, in in several industries 
in software development of course prototype makes more sense if you are following the agile or the iterative model because waterfall model doesn't give you that freedom of creating a prototype and then you know displaying it showing it to the customer asking the customer to make use of it or asking other stakeholders to make use of the prototype and then uh, collecting requirements again in agile or uh, in iterative world is where you keep on churning out uh, pro uh, you know iterations of the product and uh, come up with the final product in the end that way uh, one of the iterations can be used as a prototype and a customer can look into it for sure so again prototyping suits much more to agile and iterative models rather than projects that are handled in the waterfall model this of course is limited this uh, uh, the last point is of course limited to software development and i the it industry as such And that is all that we had in this video. This completes our entire uh, tools and techniques series on collect requirements process. Hope you were able to make sense out of this very important process. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Check us out on our social media, facebook.com slash pmblounge and twitter.com slash pmblounge. And send your queries at pmblounge at gmail.com. Uh, those queries can be related to PMP or anything that you want to discuss. And as always, do check out the website pmblounge.com, your number one free resource for PMP certification and project management industry information. Thank you.